Ed Gunn Leshy presents Winter Pest Control, Volume 6, with some bonus footage of the ultimate backyard pest control setup. We've had a pretty steady stream of winter weather rolling through, and this typically means the critters hunker down, just like us. When those little breaks in the weather happen, though, you want to get out and stretch your legs. Well, the squirrels are no different. In this video, the focus is on quality and not quantity. <laughs> Uh, with that extra time, though, I wanted to give you guys a little tour into my outdoor man pesting cave. Before we dive in here, I got a favor to ask. If you're enjoying these videos, I need a little help. I don't do this for money, so I'm not asking for that. I simply want to hit 100,000 subs. Why? Pretty simple. I want to piss off these anti-pest control people with a collective 100,000 middle fingers. So hit that subscribe button and make sure to click the bell to be notified of new videos. you to the Ed Gunn Leslie and the Layla in the last video, but haven't really spoken about the shooting setup and other technology I, I use to tip the scales in my favor in this backyard pest war I'm fully engaged in. Let's start with the shooting position and location. I work from home and my office has a balcony off of it that overlooks part of my yard and my neighbors. I modified the railing that you're seeing here and built a shooting table right into it. It gives me over 180 degrees of sight lines uh, from an elevated position. I'm a guy who appreciates the little details. And that $10 sniper chair that you're seeing here has a folding table with an integrated cup holder. Perfect for those longer sessions. Out of the right side of my sniper's hide, I have a perfect shot setup for the table for one. I can sling a 34 grain pellet downrange with ease and precision using my table to steady my aim. Throughout the yard, I have Nest cameras with IR floodlights in some of the locations. The cameras have a built-in IR, but its effective range is not really sufficient for this context. And that is, I want to be able to see a rat's eyes light up on my phone at 25 yards. So the bonus is, the lights light this up like literally like I'm flicking on a light switch through a night scope. So when I'm looking through the ATN Excite 4K, her backyard and mine is lit up like a Christmas tree. Now, I still use that streamlight, and I'll talk more about that here in a second. A lot of times, especially at night, I'll have my iPad with me so that I can see what's going on in other parts of the yard. So while I focus my attention through the scope elsewhere, I can then quickly pivot and take one out within seconds if I see something out of the corner of my eye on the iPad. I caught this guy coming out of the courtyard where they den up under the bricks. Uh, it stuck around the corner and paused just for a second here for some free food, and I turned this one inside out with a 25 grain, 25 cal JSB. Here's a great example of the effectiveness of the IR floodlights. This big possum was the last of the bullies to get it before winter really set in. You can see how well the yard is lit up. I was using the Streamlight IR as it's more of a spotlight, and so while the other floodlights that I have kind of just flood the yard, uh, the streamlight is used directly on target and it just ensures that you're going to be able to really see and put that shot placement exactly where it needs to be. I remember this guy pretty well. I was actually in the shower uh, and got an alert on my camera saying that motion was detected at the table for one. I looked at my phone, grabbed the R5M and threw a 34 grain JSP MK2 into its dome. It was lights out for this bully. And for you possum lovers, I get it. They eat ticks. I don't shoot every one of them. I don't mind a few around for this exact reason, but I don't need 10. This year, we had some really aggressive ones with zero fear of me or respect of my attempts to shoo them off. The population got thinned a bit, so get over it. As much as I'd love to sit out there and shoot all day and night, I got stuff to do. So the last part of the kit, and it's a critical one, is this 55 inch TV in my office along with the Apple TV 4K. So uh, I keep the cameras alternating throughout the day on the Nest app that's on uh, the Apple TV. Um, and I could pick up a small rat with the resolution of the Nest 4K. The outdoor ones, the older versions, not as much, but I can pick up their bodies if they're moving around. But the new Nest 4Ks, you can literally see their eyes. So that's my pest control command center. Overkill? Hell yes it is, but I'm going to great lengths to turn the tide in this battle for backyard supremacy. I'll leave a link in the description to the article uh, I wrote with all the products I use, so you can go check them out if you're interested. Switching gears a bit back to some pest control. I smoked a couple of squirrels this week. 
We had a pocket of mild weather sandwiched between a couple storms, so I loaded up the table for one and moved my office out to my sniper's hide so I could keep an eye out while knocking out some conference calls. Working from home is the best. Hey, by the way, Brian, this one's for you. Thanks, man, for that awesome comment, and I hope you enjoy the slow motion of this 34-grain JSB MK2 out of the Edgun Layla. I'm still trying to figure out what that white thing is that goes flying off to the left. It was a clean passer, so I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. This guy kept knocking food off the table and then eating down below. This is an interesting strategy. He won from the Leshy and it was lights out. I'm going to wrap this video with this guy. I tuned the Layla down a little bit to about 20 foot pounds with the 34 grain pellet. This guy's forehead took every bit of that energy and it was lights out before he even hit the ground. The weather really took a turn for the worse and the critters just went into lockdown mode. I've been kind of lazy at night as a result of this, not checking too much for rats beyond the alerts from the cameras. I was shocked when I woke up and saw the alert I had missed at 2 a.m. Look what rolled through the yard. Piper was going nuts. So it looks like the backyard bullies might be planning a winter assault using a cave system in the bushes over there. Many have requested it, but the Backyard Bullies 2 looks to be in the works. Stay tuned. Until then, I'll just keep dreaming about spring. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of future Ed Gun Leshy videos. Have a great day.